Today, guys, we're going to be talking about the three things that I think should be included in your comic book script when you send it to an artist. Here we go. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Drone Talk! And uh, I have recorded this episode five different times, trying to use my phone, my computer, just each time it just fails. So hopefully with this camera it will work, and if not, I'm going to be really pissed off. So, but guys, February 4th, Demons Volume 2 comes out on Indiegogo. Link in the description to check out the preview. Guys, I'm super excited for this book. Uh, it's 130 freaking pages. You can get Demons Volume 1 in there as well if you missed out. Um, there's going to be a bunch of free stuff as well whenever you whatever you buy. So guys, go check that out. But guys, let's talk about the, the three things that I think should be included in your comic book script. Uh, the reason why I, I say these things is because, you know, creating a comic book is a really time consuming process. And I think that when you add these three things as a writer to your comic book script, it creates the, it, it makes the workflow of creating a comic for the artist a lot easier. So here they are. Number one, main summary page. Um, this should be included at the beginning of the script. What this page is, is basically an overview of what's going to happen in the entirety of the comic. It doesn't have to be, it has to be very specific. It doesn't need to be like, and then the person's gonna go into the mountain. What could happen to the character? No, just be very honest with your artist. Just say, you know, beginning, middle, end of this entire issue. To let them know what, you know, to expect when they're drawing. I mean, you know, reading a script is kind of time consuming, you know, and it'd be nice to know the entire story from the beginning before you then start reading the individual pages and try to figure out what the crap is going on. Um, it really helps under, um, helps the artist uh, understand the tone, the direction that you want as the writer, and it just really sets the stage for what they're going to be creating. Uh, before I started drawing Undead Row with Wes Nadell, he sent me a, a huge summary of the entire book. I knew exactly what I was getting into, and it was easy for me to say yes and accept that work as an artist because I already knew what the book was gonna entail, I knew what I was gonna have to draw, and that was because of that main summary page. So yeah, number two, character description page. Character description page I think is super important. It makes the process of creating a comic so much easier, and this is why. Um, I mean, let's use Batman, for example. Batman. Um, let's say that you are writing a Batman comic. Let's pretend that no one in the world knows what Batman is. And, you know, you start writing your script and you say, uh, page one, panel one, our character Batman walks into the room. And then instead of telling the story and describing what the panel is, you now have to spend a couple sentences or more describing what Batman looks like. You know, he's got a black cow, black cape, horns. Or those are your thingies. Uh, black, black bat symbol, gray suit, utility belt. You have to describe all these things and then, later down the road, let's say Batman comes back in and the artist is like, crap, what did Batman look like again? And they have to flip through the freaking script until they can find, oh yeah, it was on page one, panel one. Uh, that's where the description was. Whereas, if you had, if you had created a character description page where all the characters' names are laid out, and, you know, it's just a um, encyclopedia. It's just a place where the artist knows every character description is going to be. And also, that saves you time as well when you're writing. So you don't have to go page one, panel one. Our main character, Batman, he looks like this, and then you spend, like, you know, the next ten minutes describing him. Instead, you can just go, Batman walks into the room and get with the storytelling, and then when the char when the artist is like, huh, what does Batman look like? They can flip over to the character description page and find out what Batman looks like. It's super easy. Um, Justin Ori... Um, I, I drew a two-page comic book script for him, and it was only two pages, but he included a character description page, because there was five different characters in that story, in that two-page story, and it super helped. I didn't have to, like, go go read the script, like, 20 times, like, where is that character description? I could just flip through to the character, I could just flip through the character description, guys, my tongue is tied. I could just flip through the character description, and then I'd find it. So, yeah, character description page. And last... But not least, but it's definitely last, but it's not least, is number three, reference photo section. Guys, this is 
huge. This really helps the artist in so many ways. That was my phone. Um, let's say you're wanting to do a sci-fi book. Sci-fi is a huge genre. You can go from like Star Wars, Star Trek, Star Wars. <laughs> um, there are other sci-fi. Jupiter's Ascending, that crappy one with Channing Tatum. Um, and you know, if you have a specific sci-fi thing in mind, when you write it, you might be visualizing Star Wars. Your artist might be visualizing Star Trek, but you don't want them to do Star Trek. You want them to do Star Wars. So what you do is you send them a bunch of reference photos of how you want your comic book to look like. This saves the artist tons of time in research, in asking you, and then you know, let's say there's let's let's say that you want them to draw a huge spaceship, and they're like, crap, okay. Um, there's a care description, but I, they still you know, don't really know what you're looking for. They have a couple options. They can either, one, message you and wait for your freaking reply, which means they're not drawing. They're waiting for your reply. Number two, they could start researching something and then, then find it, wait for you to reply back, and then they're not drawing. Or they might just just start drawing that, that, that Star Trek thing, and you're like, crap, I wanted it to look like Star Wars. Uh, and then everything's ruined, and then you have to start all over again. If you provide these reference photo sheets with how you want the setting, the weapons, the characters to look like, the, the vehicles, I don't care. If you send them a bunch of reference photos, this would really help. Especially if you have like certain panels that like you, like this scene needs to look like this, send them a bunch of reference photos. It really helps. I know Rob, Robert Livingston, the creator of Tom and Artie, I know when he sends his artists scripts, he sends them like 20 pages of reference photos for like the, the vehicles, the worlds, the weapons, what the characters need to look like, everything. And this, this makes it so that the artists have like no excuse on messing up. It makes it so they're like, okay, I know exactly what I need to be drawing. So guys, reference photos, they're super handy dandy. Um, I send, I send Travis a couple, uh, I send Travis reference photos all the time uh, for demons. I'm like, hey, this scene needs to look like this. I had a, there's a theater scene in volume two and I was like, Travis, the theater needs to look like this. And he was like, okay, and the boom, turned out 100% perfect. So reference photo guys. So yeah, guys, those, are the three things number one main summary page number two character description page and number three reference photo section this is just gonna make the comic book making process so much easier it's gonna go a lot more faster it's gonna it's gonna be a lot smoother and your comic book's gonna look really good and yeah so it, it means that you have to spend like you know an extra 12 10 20 50 hour maybe a couple days of adding some stuff to your script before it's ready, but it's really gonna help. The reference photo section is definitely gonna be the, the longest, but you know what you should do? Writers and artists, get a Pinterest. I thought Pinterest was the most girly thing ever until I started like drawing comics. Pinterest is awesome. Tons of inspiration there. So yeah, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, let me know what you think. Am I right? Am I wrong about this? Um, yeah, hit me up in the comments section, smash that like button, and uh, so subscribe and also guys February 4th February 4th that's on Monday that's on freaking Monday that is gonna be uh, this demons volume 2 I'm super pumped I'm super pumped so there won't be there won't be a video on Friday or Saturday but there will be we'll do a late night stream on Sunday and then Monday we launch you guys have a good day and uh Peace out.